All right, this is a 13.5 exercise. It's on page 896. All right, got it? Number one. Everybody look, number one. What do you see right above number one? You see a normal curve. What is the mean? That's what, that's what it means. 20. The mean is 20. Okay. Could you answer number two? What is the standard deviation? Probably four. Yes. Wait, how do we know that? I'm sorry. Four. Because it's counting by fours. <laughs> Got it? Okay, because remember, it's 68.95.99.7. They're always going to show you three standard deviations, and the very tails are going to be that 0.15 and 0.15%. Got it? Okay. Estimate the area using that same curve. This is number three. From 16 to 24. Okay. Did everybody see that? 16 to 24, what would it be? Uh, you add a half of 68% to 2%. Nope, 16 all the way to 24. Is it just 16? Uh, yeah. 68%, one standard deviation. Do you just have it in percentage? Correct. <clears throat> All right, now it says five. Graph, well, let's do 12 to 28. What's 12 to 28? 95. 95%. What would be eight to 32? 99.7. Excellent. It is not a hundred. It's so very close because it's 68, 95, 99.7. Okay, can y'all graph uh, number five? So the mean is 10, the standard deviation is 12. All right, so y'all graph it. I'll be graphing it as well. <clears throat> Easy peasy, huh? Okay, now do number seven. Okay, this one's easier.
Has everyone completed these? Okay. I know what that means. You're not done? Number nine. Compute the mean and the standard deviation. How are y'all going to do this? Make a list. Put those numbers in your list. Stat, edit. All right, you have to go up and clear your list. Don't delete it, clear it. Can I just re-enter numbers? Can you what? Yes, yes. It doesn't have to be in order, right? It does not. <clears throat> just make sure you have 30 numbers in there. At the end, because it says there are 30 men. <clears throat> Enter those slowly so you don't make mistakes, right? Do you remember what to do after you enter them all in? Math. Go over to probability. Is the first one one variable statistics? I really need a calculator. one variable statistics. All right, you just keep entering until you get, thank y'all. Which one is? X with a line over it. X with a line over it is the mean. What's the mean? You should have gotten 70 for the mean. How do you get to this? You do stat, calc. Uh, stat, go over one, calc, and you just keep hitting enter. Second step, math, and it had like all the, the things right there. I just said like mean. So I just well, there we go. Which one is the It's sigma. What did y'all get for that? 5.228. 5.228 is correct. So if you didn't get a mean of 70 and a sigma of 5.228, then you probably input something wrong. Did everybody get that? Yes. Did anybody not get that? Uh, I'm still working. Okay. <clears throat> 
All right, so what did we do? We did second, no, we just did stat, calc, stat, calc. That's what we did. Entered it in the list, stat, edit, right? And then we quit out of that and went stat, calc, one variable, stats. And it gives you all the numbers. All right. All right, everybody's good? Sigma. I will always ask when you ever, whenever you hear that word standard deviation, I'll always ask for the sigma. <clears throat> okay. Let's draw what goes with numbers 11 and 13. Let's draw the normal curve because it just helps. All right, so it says the mean is 65 inches and the standard deviation is 2.5. So y'all have to help me do this math, 2.5. So that's 67.5, 68, 69, 70, and then 72.5. Okay, now going backwards is gonna be harder for me. 62.5, 62.5, Okay, all right. Number 11 says taller than 65 inches. Well, we could have known that. Everybody get that? 50%. Does everybody understand that? <clears throat> All right. What about number 13 between 62.5 and 67.5? Uh, yes. Okay, I would never ask something that easy on a test. Here would be 68%. I would ask you something like number 15. So we should do 15. Between 57.5 and 67.5. So that's from here to here. Okay, so let's let's break it down. You know, here to here is 68. This, well, let's just get this. This, this whole area right here. Remember, it's 68. What are the numbers? 68? 95. 95? 99.7. 99 .7. All right, so this piece is going to be the 99.7 minus the 68. So it's 99.7 minus the 68. Wait, we should just do also just 1.5 or whatever, 0.5, whatever it is, and then add 34. Could you just do 50 plus 34? Okay, y'all just follow me, right? It's the whole minus that because we already have the 68 taken into consideration. And we're gonna divide it by two because the other half is over here. You got it? So what is that? That's, what is it? 15.85 plus the 68 gives you what? 83.85. 5%, is that right? That's that's a question like what I would ask you. Got it? Got it? I'm not going to ask you very straightforward. Okay, we have two more problems, do y'all? Number 21. Okay. I'm going to just use this same graph for 21. 
The mean is 30 and the standard deviation is 10. So 30, 40, 50, 60, 20, 10, zero. All right, this is for number 21. What is the probability that the wait time is 30 to 35 minutes? Oh, wow. A fourth? A 30? No, a fourth. That's 68. Yeah, that's a fourth. All right. So, you know from 30 to 40 is how much? 34. It's 34. Divided by 2, which is 17%. Yes. That is not the answer in the book because they are using a Z-score, but that's what I would want to know. Is this a Z-score. Z score is, a, is like a weighted, like the minutes are, are more weighted. <clears throat> All right, we're not going to do that. We're not, you will, if you go into nursing, you will have to understand Z score, but they will teach you. <sighs> that is correct. Okay. Yes, we're saying it's all equally weighted. Okay. All right. Now, look at 25. Y'all, we're almost done. That's amazing. Okay. We have an average of 30.2. Y'all are going to have to help me with this. 8.5. Okay, let me just write 8.5 so I have it in my brain. So this is 38.7, right? I need to write my numbers smaller. 38.7, keep giving it to me. 47.2. 47.2. 55.7. Okay, I think that's all we need for 25. 39 degrees or higher. Okay, let's say 38.7 degrees. I would ask a question like that. So for number 25, 38.7 degrees or higher. So we just want this. So we know it's, yeah. 50, at 50, which is that side, minus the 34, which is 16. 16. Yes. 